Okay. It should be good. Sorry about that. So what 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 I would like and and for future meetings is to receive the um or the 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 latest version of our plan from the previous meeting so that I can can review it before we have this meeting and so I know where I want to go with it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That makes sense. And then um, I guess this is really a question that Lizzie to participate in too is uh, 48 hours, 72 hours. Um, um, definitely agenda we can get out pretty soon because we have to again internally have to share that public notice within like two weeks prior to the meeting. Um, if I could get the 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 planning spreadsheet um, 48 to 72 hours before, that would be good. I'm yeah, just I'm sure we could do that. Oh, and um, Elizabeth, hi, <laughs> Mylene. It's nice to hello. meet you. <laughs> yes, we kind of skipped introductions. Yeah. But hello there. Yes, hi. and uh, should, should we jump into that? Should I just take a moment? Oh, yeah, please. That would be great. If yeah, you, you, okay, Have you great. done it already with everybody else? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we haven't because we all know each other, essentially. Oh, okay. um, But, yeah, nice to meet you, Eileen. Um, yeah, I'm the new America program manager here. Um, I come from a bit of an AmeriCorps background myself. I was a program coordinator with a sub-grantee state and national program in Illinois. So I'm a, a recent transplant. I'm based in Nashville. Um, Latif and I, we've slip, split up the programs a little bit. So I have a little bit more of a focus on education and literacy because that's my interest area. But, you know, a lot of it is also just compliance and yeah just working with programs and making sure that the funding is accessible um so excited to learn more about the funding process from this side of things um and i definitely need to be caught up as well i did watch there was a recording maybe from the last the last meeting um but yeah, I don't have, I have the beginnings of an understanding of what you guys do. Okay, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> well, um, we we depended a lot on on uh, Michael Hogan because um, he'd been leading this committee for as long as I've been with Volunteer Tennessee. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm going to have, you know, have some catching up to do myself. So we can do that together. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you relocate from? Yeah, so I was in Illinois before. I was in Chicago. Oh, okay. I'm going next week. <laughs> oh, love Chicago. Yeah, it's probably a nice time of year to visit too. Yeah, it's my my husband's house high school reunion. So oh, that's fun. <laughs> and are you located in Nashville or are you somewhere else in the state? Yeah, I'm in Nashville. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just moved, I guess is maybe like my third week living here. Mm -hmm. so. Oh my. She's fresh. Fresh Big changes. Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so I, d I did look at that short agenda last night. And so I did see we have some, what, timeline changes? Or we have some some changes we need to mm -hmm. approve to pass on to the, to the full board at at the retreat, right? Is there yes. something? And I can get that on the screen right now. And while I'm pulling that up, um, if it's okay to do this, Eileen, I could give like a quick update on the NOFO process and like just like what we've done so far. Sure, absolutely. Um, so as I pull this document up, which was just on my screen, and here it is. <laughs> so uh, we released the NOFO today. Um, it is live on the web page. Of course, it has like all of the good information. Um, it looks a lot cleaner than it did. Actually, looked, it looks very similar to last year. Uh, Hope did an amazing job putting together all of our documents. 
Um, so I think they look very clean and uh, I will put that link in the chat to you. Sharing my screen, um, we of course like so the a press release will go out or is going out, has gone out, but it's definitely going out today. Um, and along with the newsletter, update to our programs and interested parties. So everyone is in the loop. Um, and if you know of anyone who would like that information shared, then definitely let us know um, so we can get that over to them. I know you have laid your eyes on this before, but there have been some slight changes. Um, as a quick review, um, we of course have one program, Public Education Foundation, who is in their third year of competitive funding, and they are going to be forwarded by us, is our recommendation, um, to recompete re in the same competitive process. And then we have several programs that are coming out of their third year formula into um, going into another cycle. And so we are recommending them for competitive. Several of our programs, I think there's like eight programs on here um, that will be forwarded over to the competitive process. And then if they're not awarded through that competitive process, then they will move back over to formula and then act as recompeting programs or you know go back into that recompete program bucket. Uh, we also have two programs, three programs that are competitive continuation. See those folks listed here, City of Memphis, Mark O'Brien, TCAC, uh, Tennessee Community Action Corporation. And then also for formula, we have a couple of programs that are continuation. So there are about five programs here that will be continuation for the formula. And this is, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put this document and actually Lizzie, if you could put that document into the chat, that would be awesome. Um, but also I have really easy access to it right now, so I can also do it if it's, uh, going to take a second, but these are the changes that we made, which yeah, is just. I, do, I don't have it up right now because I was just looking at your screen. If you have it up, it might be easier. Can Absolutely. <laughs> Let me do that right now. Is, is it still on the screen? Hopefully. There we go. And also people who join the chat later will need your permission to access this file. That's OK. okay so I just put it into the chat. Um, Again, sorry that those materials weren't shared in advance, but I believe the only change is this date. Um, Jim, let me know if that's, oh, actually completely incorrect. So there are a couple of yeah. changes here. Yeah, well, we, we definitely needed to change the date of the commission meeting because that changed after mm -hmm. July. But then further down, we received the AmeriCorps Notice of Funding Opportunity um, after the July meeting when this was last approved. And there were a, a few dates. Uh, well, one that they moved back their due date that we had to submit, which is good because previously the due date for us was like on January the 3rd. And so we, we had to ask programs and then we had to be scrambling around during the holidays to to make sure we met that deadline. So they've, they've moved their deadline back a bit, which then um, uh, al allowed us to move some of the due dates for the competitive process. And that's what those other changes are, mm. are, are related to, is just adjusting that time frame a little bit so that the programs and, and the volunteer Tennessee staff aren't uh, having to do this work, you know, essentially over New Year's Day, <laughs> uh, <laughs> New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Those are the changes. And like okay. I said, that is in the chat. Um, okay. Is there, you know, I haven't been able to figure out, is there a way to access the chat after the meeting's over? I don't no. think so. Not for non. Yeah, for us, yes, but no. And this is probably a part of the housekeeping um, potential process, like us moving certain things into a folder, which actually that folder exists. That folder exists. I forgot about that folder. And so us moving the agenda, this recording, I don't know how long a recording lasts for external viewers that are outside of the Tennessee, state of Tennessee community. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we could definitely at least move materials over in notes. Um, which will be a lot easier 
when we're doing a transcript to put together. Yeah, I mean, if you if you if you place links to documents in the chat, um, you know, it would be really nice if there was some way I could get them later because generally, especially if I'm leading a meeting, I'm not looking in the chat and you know copying links to my system and and that. Um, yes. Julie noted, uh, going forward, materials will be shared in advance, and I will continue to put this link in to our email, so that way I too and Lizzie, and as I'm sure you will, Lizzie, you will remember um, that this is an active folder that actually does have a couple of things, because this is where you're working for Mylene with the Volunteer Tennessee Focus Areas that you created so fabulously. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, I will... Um, I'm creating this folder right now within because right now it currently has like the competitive and formula applications. For example, when you were doing your work, Eileen, um, for those focus areas. Yeah. But now I'll create a meetings folder as I should have done a while ago. No problem. <laughs> um, um, the next agenda point item, Eileen. Hmm. I actually can't. My computer is frozen. I don't oh, know. <laughs> yeah. It's currently just like not letting me move this, but it is in the chat. And I, even though you did just reference, Eileen, that you can't look at that public's notice. We talked about the NOFO, the timeline. Um, and then I was thinking of, I did this arbitrarily with no discussion between the team. So obviously, Jim, Lizzie, let me know if there's like another direction we should go. But I was thinking a review of the committee annual plan. Um, I don't know how much time we have left. And then also on here was um, discussing, I really can't see this because it's literally frozen, but discussing committee work for 2025, maybe looking at what the activities could look like and potential outcomes. Again, with whatever time we have left to decide uh, what might be a priority conversation. And then of course, leaving Room for any public comment. Um, we do have a guest on. Eileen, I don't know if you noticed that. I did notice that. I was going to yeah. um, ask that person to introduce themselves. Mm. Adam Nickus? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Good after or good morning, I guess, till technically. Uh, Adam Nickus. Um, I, I represent Hi. a couple of groups like the Tennessee Nonprofit Network and United Way of Greater Chattanooga. I'm really just here just to learn. Uh, so thank you for allowing me to be the uh, sole guest on this. And I don't have any public comment. Okay, well, thank you for joining us. It's very nice to meet you. Thanks for all the work you're all doing. I appreciate it. You and and I, you're I, welcome. Eileen, um, since since it's kind of difficult to go back and forth between the chat, the the agenda that that was part of the the public notice was to um, review the funding process. Uh, well, the funding process one was to update, which Latifa noted that we. We published the notice of funding opportunity today, and we're doing the kind of the outreach and press releases and all that kind of stuff today. Mm -hmm. um, and then the the revi revisions to the timeline, which mm -hmm. um, since since we only have two committee mem members right now, um, uh, that that's not really enough to vote to approve that to send to the full commission. So my recommendation would be to to reserve that additional to have an additional discussion and have the committee vote on approving that at the retreat to yeah. then go forward to the full commission um uh in, in october but i mean we the, the changes were, pr were pretty simple and straightforward again they were they were mainly related to the revision and the due date that we have mm -hmm. to the americorps agency um then there was the review of the committee annual plan um which um, which I think Latifa can pull up in just a second. Um, and then the uh, other than the public comment, the, the other agenda item was assessing committee work for 2025, which included uh, evaluation of this year's activities and outcomes, which goes back to the annual plan, um, and then planning and setting goals for the committee's work in 2025. And again, with with just two committee members, 
you're probably not going to be able to get too far into that. But mm -hmm. th those were the agenda items. So mostly it was looking at the annual plan and then thinking a little bit about what that annual plan might look like for, for next year. Right. So I think um, if um, Latifa, you or Elizabeth, whoever is um, are you know going to be our staff member? Um, you're the one who you're the ones who send out the um, the the appointment, right? To to decide on on when we're having this meeting. Um, it would be helpful if I could know in advance who's who is able to attend the meeting, um, because that way I could you know I could get in touch with them ahead of time if like. Patricia, I know Patricia always has a lot of questions. Um, so, you know, if at least I could, you know, get in touch with her or Lee ahead of time and and kind of, you know, find out if there's a better time that works for them or something, because, you know, we're take we're we need to take votes on fairly important stuff. And if it's just, you know, it's just Adam and me and um, and staff, that's that's not going to work real well, especially at the times, you know, it's not that a big deal to such a big deal today because we're just having to approve the timeline. But when we, when we get around to actually having to, to approve and pass on all of those funding documents, it's really important that, you know, we have all of our small committee here. Definitely. We'll um, see if we can recruit some more members at the um, but he was always pretty good about that saying how you know how sexy this committee was and <laughs> <laughs> get more people. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, although I don't know that anybody really believed that, but <laughs> I know. He, he did say <laughs> it. It made, it made us laugh. <laughs> I was just going to jump in and say, so I think I'll be your point of contact going forward. It sounds like the Tiva might still be involved, okay. um, especially as I transition. Um, but yeah, I think the hope is for me to take over like the next quarterly meeting. Okay. Um, so yeah, it sounds like a good idea to get some kind of attendance in advance. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, definitely. And Taking my own notes on paper, I'm a bit old fashioned. But. Hey, I, hey, I do the same thing. I don't think it's old fashioned at all. Um, <laughs> I hate to do this to us, Jim. I apologize, but I am having a difficult time finding the annual plan. Um, I don't know why this happens to me every single time. However, it, it is definitely occurring. Apologies, y'all. And as soon as that happens, in the meantime, while I do get some support from Jim on that, I think to respond yeah. to something you oh, were sorry, saying, I, I can sorry. I can pull it up, Latifa. Hold on, let, just take, let me give me a second to navigate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, something I had talked to Jim about, uh, like we had been talking about, is just you know how to best engage committee members. Um, what's the process like when folks aren't like able to attend or being you know to increase that engagement. Um, of course, because we haven't seen um, or heard from a couple of folks in a while. And so what exactly that process looks like, like as interim chair, you know, that that's that's a heavy load. Maybe it's not something you want to take on. Maybe it's something for Amy to take on. Um, but I reference that to say, like, you know, there are folks who regularly can't attend these meetings. Ah, there's Patricia. I actually was not referencing Patricia, by the way. She is always here. Hey, Patricia. Welcome. We were just in the midst of uh, talking through a couple of housekeeping things and like, um, and Jim is about to pull up the annual plan. Um, and I will actually take a step back. Eileen, I don't know if you. No, oh, I think Eileen is actually frozen. Yeah, Eileen is frozen, but. Um, like that. Well, what, while we're waiting for her to come back, I. I... Hopefully you all can see the the committee's um, um, there she is. We admitted. 
Yeah. Patricia no, came on and teams crashed. <laughs> <laughs> I think Eileen is blaming you, Patricia. Well, and what's I'm, hilarious I'm, about that actually is do you remember when we had Hurricane Patricia way back years ago? Yeah. The personality for it or what people called it was like it was a force to be reckoned with. And I was like, <laughs> wow. I mean, that is me too. There we go. <laughs> well, you have powers I didn't even know about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, at least that was nice. Only a minimal amount of people got either hurt or killed, all that stuff. So anyways, <laughs> continue on. <laughs> okay, so, um, so um, Patricia, um, I'm the interim lead of this committee um, because my, Michael Hogan is on leave. Oh. And um, so I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get my feet under myself here. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, Lizzie introduced herself. Um, Lizzie's a new AmeriCorps um, project manager for Volunteer Tennessee, and she's going to be our, our liaison going forward. Um, and we talked about the AmeriCorps, the timeline, which has slightly changed. And we decided that we couldn't really take a team vote because there were only two of us um, here, me and um, Adam. So I don't know. I guess, I guess we actually do have a quorum now because I think think do we can we, we don't need to count michael for quorum right i think we're still i think we still okay. have quorum yeah i um so i think the other uh member is lee, Moten. Is lee. um yeah so it, i mean even if you counted michael i, I think we still, still have, have quorum. yeah still have quorum. so I, I i think that's i think that's okay uh, okay, so um, uh, although you, uh, just in terms of like actual voting members, you have two of yeah, you have two of three, so that would I think that would still constitute a quorum. Okay, so Patricia or Patricia and I the only oh yeah that's right because well, well and, and and Lee Moten is right is and a, Adams ex officio so. Um, Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think either way you look at it, I think you 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 would have quorum. So if you if you want me to Yeah, let's go back the, and do that real quick. Latifa, do you have still have that? Are you are you still frozen? No, I can pull it up. Um it's also in the chat, Patricia, but I am pulling it up right now. This is the document listed as draft. Uh is probably what you see and then it would say more after that but it's a timeline and you all have already laid your eyes on this but there have been a couple of adjustments based off of AmeriCorps uh, gracious revision um, to their timeline and also to due to the change of date for the um, commission retreat so this is the first change the really obvious one from the 17th to the 18th and then, um, as Jim so wonderfully explained earlier, AmeriCorps has adjusted their timeline so that way we can have a later turn in deadline. Um, and so we adjusted dates accordingly to adjust for what we'd normally do of like a January 3rd ish deadline to like February 23rd. So we adjusted that time accordingly. None of the content has changed outside of the dates. Just, you know, let me know if you want me to quickly go gradually go through again this document is in the chat if you want to take a closer look at it actually i don't think it is because when i clicked on the chat it's literally just me invited to the meeting eileen and or that you know she was invited and then she left yeah and so they gave me a notice about that i have to put it back in there yeah so it, yeah when when a new person joins outside of the state they can, i think they can only see from the time they joined anything that's in the chat they can't see anything that was posted previously exactly so oh. i've done that for both of those um should be good now patricia
now. Yes. Question is, do I know how to open it? Mm. Let's see. Well, let's well, see. It, and and Patricia, it's it's just what Latifa has up on the screen. Oh, okay. so Never mind. it's not yeah. it's not anything different than what Latifa has has pulled up. Got it. Major shifts. So it really just kind of changes the dates like a little bit and again gives us more time. Um, volunteer Tennessee. I also can email it. I'm not sure what's the best course of action here. Um, Patricia, you let me know, like, because obviously like, me just like running down the screen may not be the best for you. Um, no, it's you fine. Can... I mean, I've seen it from the last, like, before. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do, well, for me, ideally, it would be you go through each thing. But I mean, part of it also is, is that AmeriCorps has it or like you guys have your schedule of things. And so for me, I don't necessarily know what everything is. And so I'm just kind of like, if this is what you got planned, this is what you got planned. So I will go for that. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But if I can throw in what, what might be helpful is to start at the end. So that that last date that's there on the screen. Oh, well, no, go back to where you were, Latifa. Just, yeah, right there. Um, so the, the previous due date, um, now if you can scroll down now, it's when you enlarged it, it, it popped off the bottom of the screen. So scroll down just a bit. Okay, Sorry, I lost okay. you all for a second. Okay, yeah. so the previous due date um, that we, the Volunteer Tennessee Commission had to submit to AmeriCorps from last year was uh, January the 3rd. Um, and uh, Patricia, before we were talking, that meant that the Volunteer Tennessee staff and the program staff all had to be working over the holidays to get oh. get everything ready to submit. And it was, mm -hmm. and across the country, state commission said, hey, can you please not have this due like, a day or two after major holidays mm -hmm. and they they listened to that and so they moved the date that state commissions have to submit their competitive information to the 23rd mm -hmm. and so you see there that's that's um and this timeline before we got that that announcement of dates we just based it on the dates that we had last year mm -hmm. so what you all approved in july was the uh, the January 3rd date, because that's what it was last year. So we just inserted the two there to make it January 23rd. Um, and then working up from that, we adjusted the other dates to give more time in that review and, and submission process for the programs and then the volunteer Tennessee staff review of all of that. So it just it just lengthens the amount of time that that we're doing all of that review stuff. So those dates that are above there um, just give everyone more time to do do all of that application submission and review and resubmit um, for that competitive process. Got it. What does EAP stand for? Uh, that's an education award program. So that that's a program. Um, oh, there it is. OK. <laughs> yeah. It, it's we don't currently have any education award programs in Tennessee, but they they essentially get a small amount, eight hundred dollars per full time yep. member, to administer the program. Um, and so it's because it's such a small amount of money, and basically the only thing that's from the federal side that's flow, flowing out is the education award to the members. Mm -hmm. It's called an education award program, but w again, we don't currently have any of those, but. Mm. The process is open for an applicant if they want to apply for an education award program. Okay. Do you Thank know you. if the amount for the education award ever changes, like with how um, the living stipend changes? Um, yeah, it, it gets it gets adjusted uh, pretty much each year um, based on the Pell Grant amount. Oh. Okay. Um, so it's you know it's. It goes up a little bit each year um, because the Pell Grant goes up a little bit, bit each year. Some, some years it goes up more than others, but that's that's generally how it's 
how it's linked. Got it. Okay. Um, so I guess um, we need to vote on on these changes. And since there's just two voting members here, um, I will move that we approve the changes to the AmeriCorps funding timeline. Um, so we need a second. That would be you, Patricia. I get. I mean, if there's only two of us, can we do? If only two people are voting, can we do that? We have a quorum because Lee is is the other voting member, so two of three are here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you have you you have a quorum, but you can also. I mean, if it, it, um if you want to go forward with approving it now, but then you can also talk about it again at the retreat. Um, yeah, we can talk although, about it again at the retreat. Yeah, although I'm not I'm not sure because we don't have the final, I mean, we have what people said in terms of whether or not they were going to attend the retreat, but I haven't sent out the final attendance uh, request. So I'm not sure if we'll have any more attendees at the, at the retreat, to be honest, than what we have right now, but certainly you can discuss it again uh, if you, if you would like. Yeah. No, I just thought it was interesting that I'm the one who has to give the or have to second it, because if it's just the two of us voting, then how like because Lee is not here. So how would that be a quorum? Because if only two people. Well, it's the uh, the the quorum is uh, is essentially um, half plus one. Uh, so, you, Wait, you, yeah, like Adam, Adam just posted in the chat. You got two or three, so that's a majority of the the members. So, if 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 you had, uh, you know, if you had ten people, then a quorum would be six of ten. Right. Uh, and as as the total number goes down, the the quorum adjusts based on the right. total number. But what I'm trying to don't we all have to be here though to make that a quorum? Not just two people are present out of the three. But doesn't everybody have to be here? No, no, then no. You do no, the majority. no. That's no, where but, I'm confused because yeah. it would only be the two of us present. So you would only have two people voting. So that's no. why I'm not understanding the quorum thing then in that way because I thought all three people would have to be here. No, the, mm -hmm. quor the quorum is, is based on who actually is attending the meeting. So you look at the, the total number of members of the committee. Um, and again, in this case, you've got three voting members total on the committee um, and participating today. You have two of those three. So two of the two of three constitutes a quorum because it's 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 more than 50 percent of the, the total voting members. Uh, but the quorum is just on who's attending the meeting. OK, that just sounds too confusing to me because I'm still like. Uh, well, yeah. Well, well uh, if you if you want to wait until um, the retreat and see if um, Lee's there, also we can we can um, we can take you know the vote then. We're, and then we pass it on to the the full board. So what our vote does is just allows us to present the changes to the full board. Yeah, because I'm thinking it's only two people saying yes or no at this point and so that's why i was just like well it's just saying well, yes or no what, to present it to the full commission it's not the two people aren't approving it for the entire commission you're just approving right. it for the committee and then no, the I, full commission will vote i got it yeah but it's it's also i mean it's it's not necessary that the committee um have a vote and approve this i mean the full commission can just discuss yeah. it and i mean it, it it works better when when items for approval come from a committee because that means that the full commission knows that a committee has discussed it and talked about it and and um, given their approval of it. But that's not required. I mean, the full commission can certainly discuss and vote on the changes without it actually coming from a committee, if that makes sense. <laughs> How much confusion can we bring into this meeting? 
Hmm. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, then that's where I'm wondering, maybe we do want to wait. Cause if it's only the two of us that are making the decision and there's not mm-hmm. anybody else, mm-hmm. we can wait. Be, but, yeah. It's, that it's only going to take a, other people. Huh? Yeah. It's only going to take us a few minutes at at the retreat to go over it during our committee time. So we can wait. We can wait. I'll I'll put that down in my notes. Yeah, and I recorded it as well. Okay. Um, let's try and get back to the plan. Sure. Uh- Let's see if I'm going to share that, mm-hmm. share my screen then. So, Eileen, are you able to see it? I can see it. I can see it. Okay. Oh, no, now, okay, now I can see it again. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and this is, so. this is the routine. Okay. Uh, part of of the paint the plan um and then the the second page starts the state plan part of it so i i i'm happy to scroll it to wherever you want to start okay um let's let's actually go to the state plan part is that is that big enough if i I, I can make um, it bigger, but it it won't all fit on the screen if I make it yeah. bigger. But I can certainly make it bigger and kind of scroll back and forth. Um, I can read it. Although certainly, let let me just because the okay. um the inputs are all committee time and staff time. So yeah, um, I think that mostly fits. Okay. That mostly fits everything on the screen and makes it a little bit bigger. Yeah. I also want to just do a quick time check and we have 10 minutes left. So I just to give context for next steps. Yeah, so so. Um, what I want to do before we start looking at the individual lines is. Um, explain what. Um, what we talked about earlier on when we put this together. Um, so th- this is basically, um, we, 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 we broke this plan down to the different um, AmeriCorps focus areas. And so what, <clears throat> what I did um, after we after we reviewed all the applications, um, Latifa sent them to me um, and I went through them and I created a um, a spreadsheet of um, that listed the 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 name of the program and the and the um, the focus areas and I think the objectives as well so that we could we could track um whether or not we were <clears throat> meeting the 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 um the goals of the state plan with regard to focus areas and so as we're going through this line by line we i think we should think about um that spreadsheet and um maybe latifa can um when you set up the folder that we can all access um for documents that you could put that in there if it's not in there yet i actually think you said it was in there Mm -hmm. um but that that we look at the at the results of my review and and see how the information that that I was able to glean works out to our objectives and our outputs and our outcomes. Also, just FYI, line number 58, you're missing an N in the word include.
that was it. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. So I just wanted to point that out because we do have, as we as we look at these outputs and specifically the outputs, we do have some information that will help us answer those answer those questions. And we certainly can't we certainly can't do that in the next seven minutes, but hopefully we will have enough time at at, at the retreat that we can do more of an in-depth look at that. Um, I don't know. Have you seen that that um that spreadsheet, Lizzie? Lizzie hasn't seen it yet. Okay. Okay. So maybe Lizzie, um, sometime before the retreat, maybe we can fit in a one-on-one, -on -one, you and me. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Yeah. I'll send you like a booking link. Okay. You can just find some time that works for both of us. Okay. We'll, I think it'll send you like a, a meeting invite automatically. Okay. You. Okay. Yeah, that cool. sounds that that sounds good. Um I'll be out of town from the from for a week starting next Friday. But okay. Then I'll well, be did you want to get something in before you're out of town or you're preparing um, for leaving and we should I might just... be able to I might hang on just a sec. Let me look at my paper calendar here. I could do I could do sometime on Monday. The 16th, okay. if you have any availability that day. Yeah, I'm just checking. Um, yeah, I do. Um, I could do 10, 11, eight, 10 or 11, three or four. Okay. Um, let's do 11. Okay. Let me put it on my calendar and I'll send you an invite. Excellent. So that'll put us a little bit ahead of the game by the time we um, meet at the retreat. Okay. So let's see, for example, line number 47, um, the, the what says, <clears throat> ensure one to two grants committee members will review all applications to ensure at least one application has food security as an objective. So that was the spreadsheet that I created was in, in response to that what. So I guess, you know, whatever whatever date I finished that, I don't even remember now. You know, we can put a, a date completed for that. Okay. Um, it was April 3rd, I think. Okay. I'll, Lizzie, um, I'll show you where the location is and we can update that. Cool. Oh, yeah, so in... I, I'll I, just I'll just highlight it for right now. Um, okay, and then we can go back and update it later. I I think our thought process was that the next what, which is says ensure that other grant reviewers focus on applications with food security goals. Um, I think our thinking was that. we we would somehow or other for this coming year get information to the to to the grant reviewers for the 2025 and 26 applications that they should that that those future grant reviewers would as give you know give extra attention when they review the applications of the the programs that we have ident identified as having food security as goals. 
Mm-hmm. For context, uh, actually, since this is a, it says who as, and it lists uh, yourself and Adam, but that feels like um, something, when you say grant reviewers, that's the peer review words, and I, I should remember this as well, but I think that's what we're talking about, like the peer reviewers, not necessarily within Volunteer Tennessee Commission within this committee. Peer reviewers, correct. Yeah, okay. right. that's right. right. And I guess I'm wondering what we talked about uh, to actually ensure that would happen, I guess, like in our language to the peer reviewers. Um, so I guess an action step, Lizzie, could be um, to, one, look to see what other committees have a similar, if they do have a similar um, output activity. Um, and then maybe like figure out what the language is when you are reaching out because Lizzie is over the grant review process or the peer review process. Right. That could be an action step there, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I keep I, I keep forgetting that that all the committees have have uh, objectives like this. And and I I guess that's um at the retreat, I guess we should when we give our our readout. Um, you know, we should have a crossover discussion as to what 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 are the other committees doing in, in this area. Yeah, and we'll we'll, we'll certainly do that. Um, you're you're right that um, this is not the only committee that has kind of the the outcome, which is the increased awareness of available resources. Um, and then the outputs, there are other committees that also have those in their plan, but their activities, the stuff that's in this column uh, is, is different. So each committee okay. kind of is working on slightly different pieces of trying to, to get towards that, that, right. that outcome. Right. So I, and particularly for this, um, I'm pretty sure that there's no overlap with uh, at least these first couple things mm-hmm. um, related to the review process. Uh, I, I don't think any other committee has any anything like that on okay. their their plan. So I, okay. I think you're okay, kind of with that part of it. Okay. Um, okay. They might um, they might benefit from seeing that spreadsheet though. Um, Sure. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. if they have if they have discussions about, well, OK, this 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 program um, focuses on on food security. So. We might want to do this or that, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Also yeah. noting is 12 o'clock. I do have a, a meeting to go to. Okay. Um, okay. But just. Eileen, to make sure that we do what is requested and what we should be doing. Uh, Lizzie and I, of course, like y'all are meeting and then we'll get that folder out or the link with all of the meeting materials from today shared within the next 48 hours. Definitely, hopefully before. Okay, that sounds good. Um, Yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to um, focus. (laughs) Yeah, this was, you know, there's a lot going on. Michael's not here. You're just jumping in and Lizzie's new. It's a new space. Um, So I think that, you know, next meeting will reach for a different direction. Okay. How many voting members are actually on this committee? Only three. Really? So it's like the staff and then there are three of us? Adam's Adam's an ex officio member, so Adam doesn't vote. Um, so you, me, and Lee, and Lee misses quite a few meetings. Um, so what, one thing we can do at the retreat is try and recruit some more people for the grants committee. <laughs> okay, no, I mean, that would make sense because otherwise having only three people who can vote, depending on what's going on, that's not, that doesn't give you any cushion really. No. Well, you know, up until like a year ago, Buddy Buddy Lee was on the committee. He was a longtime member of the committee. Um and and Mike Hogan, but they're both ex officio they were both ex officios too, right? Yeah, well it's, uh Stephanie Davis was on the committee for, for a while and then she That's decided right. that this committee wasn't a good fit for her. Uh so she 
she moved over to another committee. I mean, this committee typically has been one of the smaller committees for the commission yeah. uh, on the whole. Um, so, uh, and there are a couple other committees that also have a fairly small group. Yeah, board development um, was always small. Board development has, has typically been small. Um, so, I mean, kind of re readjusting, re uh, allocating people mm -hmm. is certainly something we can talk about at the retreat because it, you know, it, it is better to have more yeah. than three voting members per definitely committee. Mm -hmm. um, but you also, I, you know, it's it's hard to force people to be on committees if they're just not interested in it. So right. we, we had to kind of keep that in mind as well. There was one new board member at, at the last meeting who seemed to lo know a lot about the grants process. Um, she's sitting at the the far end of the table, but I, I will try and uh, speak to her at the has any interest I've forgotten her name. Was, um, was she the one sitting next to me with Men of Valor? Possibly. Well, you, you might also be talking about Kim Carpenter Carpenter Drake. Mm. Um, I think that it, that's right. I think that's yeah. right. Um, and so uh, Kim is currently serving on the Strategic Partnerships Committee, but when she submitted her kind of list of committees that she was interested in, grants was number two. Mm. So, um, so we might be able to sweet talk her into yeah. coming over to the grants committee. Uh, I'll also go back and, and look at um, uh, some of the, you know, the the very brand new people. Um, uh, didn't have grants within their top three, so it might yeah. be a little bit more of a, a stretch for them, but uh, right. I mean, we uh, we can always uh, we can always ask. I think that as part of our pitch, we can emphasize how important this committee is because we're talking, we're, we are like the, I guess the second line, <laughs> um, you know, of, of reviewers and expertise for the grants. Yeah, That's sure. pretty important. It could be, I wonder if it's any, uh, like if there's an intimidation factor there because if people don't realize that there's not actually that much that goes into reviewing a grant, you just kind of have to know what to look for for things that if maybe in some kind of way that that could be put out, because I know a lot of times if you're unfamiliar with something, you're not going to necessarily want to be a part of it. If you think that there's maybe it's more difficult, but that's where I was wondering if like, when we look at or when you look at the committees, how many members on each one and then see if you can kind of level it out and see, OK, maybe we can. You know, be like, hey, mm -hmm. can you do this this year and then this, that, whatever, like that type of thing. I don't know if that would actually work. Yeah, In theory, I think also great. that that some some people try to avoid things that sound like math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I can understand that, but at the same time, it's, there's not a, t I mean, I'm terrible with math, but I mean, there's not a ton of math that I had to do for yeah. any of this stuff. Right. And so that's yeah. the whole thing. Once again, it's maybe, do we need to reframe how each committee works and what you're mm -hmm. actually doing? Mm -hmm. And maybe that will help. Yeah get everybody to understand, okay, this is an important, th like they're each important, but like, this is what you're doing here. And we need more members because having just the two of us doesn't really, <laughs> or even three, depending on who shows mm -hmm. up, you know, to vote on things, you're kind of missing a lot of perspective. Right. Right. And so that would be my concern because then it becomes like, I don't want to vote on something that maybe others may want input or want to give their input on. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of just. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so um, I think we're ready to adjourn. So we'll no. meet again. We'll meet again at the retreat. Jim, do we have any idea of the 
location geographically for the retreat? Yes, yeah. Uh, so the board development committee um, wanted to uh, have it in Clarksville. Um, so we're okay. working on nailing down a hotel, which we're pretty close on that. And then meeting space most likely is going to be at Austin P um, mm -hmm. University. So yeah, so Clarksville will be the location. Okay, we've never been there. Yeah. I've never um, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the yeah. I think you're right. The commission we've had AmeriCorps program director meetings there, but I don't think we've ever had a commission member meeting there before. Okay, cool. So, so maybe um, next year it could be in Chattanooga. I haven't been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we've been in Chattanooga a couple times. I haven't. That's good. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we'll reconvene at the retreat, and um, that's it. And I'll speak to you on, on Monday, Lizzie. Yes, great to meet all of you, and Eileen, we will talk soon, and well, okay. everybody will talk soon, but Eileen is fine. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, have a great day, guys. Thanks, okay, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye.